Welcome to this Friday's edition of Travel and Young, where we go to Alberg, Denmark and see some singing trees. And we visit the Lindholm Hoya Museum and Viking Burial Ground, and then we go get some tasty food at Penny Lane and... And the Alberg Street Food Market. <laughs> We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. All right, we're super excited about this Friday's Yay! episode as we are uh, leg three, yes. almost four of this journey we made to Jutland. First, we went to Omu. Um, then we went to Rannis, and then we actually went to the Scannaborg Brewery, which we had, we, we actually did. put that video up a while ago, um, but that was <laughs> part of this trip. But this one is where we go to Alberg. Yes, and we really love this city. I it was such a surprise, and we'd never been here before, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm, I almost went once for a day when I was with Maya a while ago yeah. on a trip, but I decided it was just not a good idea to rush for the day. So instead, we saved it for this trip where we stayed for a couple days and stayed in a hotel downtown, got to walk to a bunch of stuff, and it was really neat. And one of the first things we walked to was to this really cool park. Yes, and it has these singing trees. It's all these trees that have uh, special little recording devices where you can play music from various different artists, and it was so unique and fun. And a good place to walk around with brisket, so yes. let's go check it out. park here in Alborg and it's called the Singing Trees and every time a super famous person has come to Alborg, well not every time, but uh, some famous people have been invited to plant a tree and then they can add a recording of... Here we have Natalia Sure. Nova. Sometimes we know them and sometimes we don't. Yeah. <laughs> But we're not going to press this button because no, then no. YouTube will strike us for but uh, copyrights. I'm, but if you, you press that button, it. Yeah, it, it would play music yeah. from that person. Yeah. And you can see all these trees yeah. have things in front of them. Yeah. Who's this? The London Neal Come on. Philharmonic <laughs> Orchestra. Over there was Guns N' Roses. Yep. Yeah. And there's Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers was over there. Tom Jones. There's a Bob Dylan. Oh, Paul Potts. Paul Potts. I know Paul Potts. Can we press Paul Potts? No, it's... don't press them because then we'll okay. have... YouTube will be mad at us. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's right. Status, status quo. Status quo. Brisket. How are you, buddy? Oh, we're getting close to music. Blah, blah, don't miss it. Blah, 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 blah. Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys. How, look at all these trees with all it's these. Cool. Yeah, there's 90 trees total and they just kind of go everywhere. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty kiss. cool. And a kiss. kiss. Hold on a second. Why isn't this tree's face painted? <laughs> I'm so confused. Brisket? Brisket, what do you think? Do you want to hear some kiss songs? Definitely a cool thing to walk around and see while you're in Alberg. Very different. The cool. musical tree park. The singing trees. Our new favorite place, Penny Lane. It's this cute little cafe that we came across. Um, I had breakfast here this morning, so we're gonna get a coffee, we're gonna get a snack, and we're gonna rest for a bit.
just like, this is the challenge when we're shooting this video is <laughs> we're there on vacation. And so we just like walked around and took a bunch of video and didn't stop and talk downtown too much. But no. uh, I put it all together in a montage so you yeah. can see us walking around downtown Auburg. And there was a subway there, which we it haven't had in, in forever. So long. Well, it was a little bit weird. I feel like they do their sandwiches a little bit different yeah. than how it is in the US. But we did have it for dinner one we night did. at that subway. Um, and I need to mention real fast before we go back to Alberg <laughs> that in our time at Rannis, um, I found, so I, I am a sucker for good marketing and logos and branding. <laughs> and so there was this, this good, th what, what, good branding. What, it's called Beard Brew from Rannis. Yeah. And I, we went downtown trying to specifically find some of this without any idea what it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, no. Um, because each logo has a different like facial hair on the <laughs> on the logos of the beer, and I've been drinking and this one tonight, a bunch of them. <laughs> and it's uh, super good. So another check plus for Rennes in the um, in the beer category. Yeah. <laughs> um, but while we were then in Alberg, after we uh, walked around the town, um, this is actually over a couple days. So then yeah. the next day, because we had some lazy time too, um, we went to the funeral um, area. Yeah, we went to the Viking burial ground at Lindholm Hoyo, which was really interesting. It has a small but very mighty museum there um, that, uh, unfortunately, I think for Josh, there's not too much there that's in English, but Maya and I could read most of what was there, and it was really interesting, um, and it gave quite a bit of a, a history about the burial ground there, and then we, we did some walking around, and it's, it's just a unique spot. It's like a big cemetery, really. Yeah, so, I mean, I think we should just show it to them. Yeah. at the Viking burial site of Lindholm Hoye, just outside Aalborg. If you hear any noises, it's because this site is actually also next to a military base where they're uh, practicing their firing, so there's some interesting noises. But this is actually a really fascinating place. It dates back all the way, there's some burials here that date back to the Viking Age, but they also go all the way back to the 500s. So it's a very old burial site, and this area used to be uh, quite populated. It was a very important uh, area where they would uh, go off on their Viking voyages um, and then come back and it was an important area of trade but eventually uh, the sand dunes actually kind of overtook this area and it was eventually deserted but then they found that it, again um, in the late 1800s they started doing excavations actually there's excavations that were started in 1889 but the most significant one was in uh, started in the 1950s and that actually fed into the small museum that's here that's really quite nice they've got a really uh, nice uh, exhibition of some of the artifacts that they found here there's beautiful jewelry there's uh, examples of combs and they also have some of the skeletons that they found here so it's a really nice area to come to and learn some about um, Viking burials Yeah, so that was like, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes north yeah, of the city. Yeah, it wasn't far It wasn't very far away, but it was nice to get out and kind of explore a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, and see some more ancient, to me ancient, yeah. <laughs> Danish well, history I mean, to Americans. It is really old. It dates really back old to, history. I think, like the 500s, I think, is what it dated back to. So yeah. it's really old. Um, and so then on one of the last nights, we actually went and had dinner at the street food market. Yeah. And so here's the deal. We were actually going to shoot us talking about the street food market, but... Didn't happen. <laughs> when we were waiting in line to get some beer, um, super nice subscriber came up and said, Hey, you guys are the Youngs? And I said, yeah. Um, yeah, that's me. I want to buy you a beer. So he bought us all beer and we ended up sitting. His name was Sebastian. Yeah. Really, really nice. Oh. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> we had a great time and we decided that, you know, engaging with people is better than engaging yeah. with the camera. Well, it's and always so, nice to talk to people, especially uh, people who, you know, appreciate our videos and stuff. And it's just nice to talk to people. I mean, I love Josh and I love Maya, but sometimes <clears> it's fun to talk to other people. Yeah. Too. So we put the camera away and uh, just sat and had a great conversation yeah. for a while with him. Um, I did get some footage though. So here's a fantastic montage of what it looks like because I like street food markets. They're also a little bit more expensive than yeah. a lot of restaurants, but you've got variety. It's a cool place to be able to everybody get something different. I love the, the vibe of like food trucks inside yeah. a warehouse. So 
very cool street food market also sitting right on like the water that was beautiful. Um, and we had a great sunset so let's check it out There you go. That was it for Alberg. And, a great uh, city. I really enjoyed it. I think we were we didn't really know too much what to expect, but Maya and I really love walking around the pedestrian areas. And that Penny Lane place is so good. I totally ditched Josh and Maya one morning and went there by myself and had breakfast. It was really, really good. And Alberg was actually the home base for our trips up to Skane. Yeah. And that's going to be in the next video. So you'll see that. So we went up to Skane a couple times from Alberg. Yeah. So as Americans, that drive was not unreasonable. No, it was very short for us. Yeah. So it was a good place to kind of sit and, uh, and make home base so we could kind of yeah. stay in a city. Um, that was great. Uh, we had an awesome time. We will definitely go back yeah, again at sure. some point. Um, and that and harbor area was beautiful. Everything yeah, was. All of I really business. liked it. All right, so since it's Friday, we need to give you a Friday fact about ourselves. This yes. is part of our contract to you. <laughs> um, and this Friday's fact is going to be music posters, nice. um, specifically this guy right here. But there's also one over here, and yeah. there's also one like way over there. And there's, and there's also a ton over, over here that you see in some <laughs> videos, maybe. We have um, so many music posters. We collect them. At least a yeah. hundred, and I don't yeah. know the exact number. I don't know. They're everywhere, but we don't have enough room quite in this house to put them up. But in our old house in Chicago, they j our bedroom was just nothing but concert posters, and we loved it because each one has a story. Yeah, um, and I will say that I don't like keeping them rolled, so everyone's yeah. in a frame. Um, but the ones that, but I don't have frames for all of them, so that means there's probably like two or three posters behind <laughs> this one that you can't see, keeping it flat. But tons of them are autographed, and that's one yeah. of my favorite things to do, especially in Denmark. It's pretty easy when an artist is, after the show, they'll typically sign something, so I get them to sign the poster. But all yeah. three of these are autographed, but they were autographed beforehand, and we bought the autographed version for like 10 USD more. Yeah. Um, except that one was actually uh, at a show in Denmark. This one over here was at Vega. That's Gregory oh, Allen Isakoff, yeah. and he signed that beforehand, and we got it at Vega. This one, I'll tell you in a minute, and this one yeah. was from Nashville, City Winery in Nashville, Amanda Shires. But... This one right here is St. Paul and the Broken Bones. One of our favorite bands. You have to see them. Yeah, they are so good live. I think yeah. we've seen them seven or eight times. Yeah. Something I've lost it track. It never gets old. <laughs> and this was the first time we saw them, which yeah. was at a music festival in Colorado yeah, in 2017. Jazz Snow Mass. And this yeah. is autographed, and it's a gorgeous print. It is like, beautiful. Oh. It is seriously, I think, out of all of our posters, my most favorite because it is just so beautiful. And I think somewhere on YouTube, there is a video of the guy actually creating this poster, but it's it's just such a, a cool look. And that's why it has a special place right yeah, there in the does. middle. It does. Um, so if you get a chance to see St. Paul and the Broken Bones, we've seen them live a ton, as I said. They're a great live band. Since we've yeah. lived here, we've seen them a few times. Once yeah. we flew to Oslo. Once we drove to the Netherlands to see him yeah. at a music festival. Totally worth um, it. Totally worth it. I feel like well, one time we saw him in Nashville at a music festival that we flew from here to, but there were other reasons to go to Nashville, yeah. not just that, but that was icing on the cake, icing as we would on say. The cake. Um, they are such a great live band. Yeah. So, so good. It's such and an experience. This specific show is what, oh, I will say this. We saw them at a festival in Charleston that we, I was there, you oh, were there. Yeah. I right, flew yes. from Charleston back to Chicago before you guys yes. did, and then I got on a plane yep. and flew to Denmark, yep. and that was the last days before I came here, and I said goodbye to you and yeah, Maya in a hotel in Charleston yeah. because I flew to Denmark, packed, and immediately got and on a plane. You guys came back later that night. 
after I had left yeah. for Denmark. And we so we didn't see him again for what a month. Yeah, think, yeah, a yeah, month. And that was like, a like a so that was like one of the last things I did yeah. before I left America was to see the a bunch of other people as a festival, yeah. but they were there. Totally worth and it. And I think that's the time he wrapped himself up in a carpet burrito on the <laughs> on the stage. So it was amazing. They are a ton of fun. So Saint Paul and the Broken Bones, one of our favorite bands. That's the Check poster between us that you see basically all the time now in our new little YouTube yeah, living room set. Exactly. All right, there you go. That's today's Friday fact. Yay. And with that, we are going to wrap things up and tell you to stay tuned. In a couple weeks, we've got Skane coming up. Yeah. Um, we've got... We go to uh, the Münstel Kalkrube. We go to Spützrupborg uh, uh, castle thing. Uh, um, just oh. all over the place. We went all over Yulin and it was so much fun. Yeah, we also went other places that we didn't video because it yeah. was also our vacation. And yeah. we wanted to <laughs> try to enjoy ourselves. So. Um, but you've already seen a few bits of that. So yeah. keeping the train rolling for the next couple of weeks on Fridays with more of our trip to Yulin this summer. Yeah. Um, but until we see you this next Tuesday, I'm going to say goodbye. And, and there you go. Good luck. Bye-bye. Good night. Good luck. Bye.